sunshine in this package and I am so excited to open this up. Welcome back to the vlog everyone. It is Tuesday, February 21st. I'm starting the week off strong and first off, I'm going to show you what I got my family for Christmas because their present finally came in. I don't know what the heck happened in December, but they kept saying that I was refusing the package, yet I had never seen the package or even talked to a postal service person. So I was all fed up about it. But anyway, finally got them. Let's open it. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, this isn't all fine. There we go. Let's do it. Don't mind the mess. I am trying to decide what's gonna go to thread up, what's gonna go to four days. If you don't know what thread up and four days are, um, they are really amazing companies that uh, reuse and recycle clothing that you don't want anymore. So since we're moving, I'm trying to do that and make sure that I'm being eco-conscious about it. Anyway, let's look at these shirts. So, oh, they're kind of weird, aren't they? Hold on. Yeah, they didn't quite, oh, it looks cute on camera. Maybe with one wash, it'll look good. But this is Diego's, it's got a Suna. Look, it's you, yeah. <laughs> this is my brother's, Steven. <laughs> oh my God. I really hope that with a wash, it actually looks a little bit better. Even like the background looks a little too, too much. Like I think it'll fade with a wash. So I think it'll look really good once I wash it. This is Weller, my sister and her fiance. Little puppy, we found her on the top of Black Rock Mountain actually. So not the last vlog, but the vlog before I had visited Black Rock Mountain. That's where we found her. Um, like three, two, three Thanksgivings ago now, I think. Yeah, because it was on Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, so cute. I'm so excited. Ah, Layla, look, it's you. Look, there's this face and then this face on the shirt. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm in love. And Belle, here is my brother's girlfriend's puppy, Belle! Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so cute, I'm so excited. I feel like I should wash them before I give them to everyone because I want them to have like that faded look. Anyway, super excited. All right, you guys, it's right around, come on Apple Watch, 4.30. I just finished a 10 minute mad fit lower ab workout. Even just getting like 10 minutes in is a game changer. I also drank some pre-workout beforehand, so I'm a little energetic now at this point. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a cold plunge. I hesitated when I said that. But today's day two, and we're gonna do at least 30 seconds at a temperature colder than what I'm used to. <laughs> that, I have no idea what the temperature of the water is. I think you're supposed to do like, you know, below 37 degrees or something like that for it to be like what you, you know, supposed to get what out of it, what you're supposed to, um, the health benefits and all of that stuff. So anyway, we're going to do that. <laughs> what up dog? Do you like them? I still know what you think. You don't know. Aww. <laughs> Look at this model. Layla. Oh, she's like, no. <laughs> Take them off? Yeah. So I'm going to try and do two minutes of like a cold plunge every day. I've done two days in a row now. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Did you survive? No. <laughs> <laughs> I no. Hell for you. No, no. Well, I. <laughs> so you. the video that I posted today, you'll see me doing it oh for the first time. And I'm only trying to do it for 30 seconds. Oh and I only did it for like 10. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Today I did it for 30 seconds though. 
seconds. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that thing. But like, okay, how cold do you think your showers are? Well, those ain't gonna be that cold because it's been cold. But like, they're usually like. But like in the cold. summer, like, would it be like ice cold? Not ice cold, just cold. But what's cold to you? What do you mean it's cold to me? Like, the same temperature as water. I'm just saying. I mean, that's not cold. It's just like. Like, like room temperature, temperature is what you do. Yeah. Room temperature. Normally. Yeah. If okay. It's too hot, I would like In order to do a cold plunge, like to get like the mm -hmm. benefits out of it, it has to be below thirty-seven degrees. Mm -hmm. So it has to be like cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is that for? What's the benefits of it? Well, one is it gives you energy, it like wakes you up basically. Um, two, it can like tone your body because like because you're like tensing your muscles from the coldness, mm -hmm. you like use that body fat in that process even if it's just for like two minutes mm -hmm. obviously it's not like a lot or anything um and then the biggest thing for me is that it can be really helpful for migraines so mm -hmm. just like inflammation stuff like that Ooh. so that's why i'm doing it mm -hmm. but i just want to be able to do it nice. so i'm sure. trying to work up to doing at least 10 minutes a week of cold plunges <laughs> not like in one sitting so like i want to do two minutes in one sitting every day two minutes uh-huh i don't think you, do. you don't think so one baby, baby wow you're really supportive let's go babe <laughs> do you want to do it with me huh? do you want to do it with me I can do it with you. yeah mm -hmm. are you sure sure okay mm -hmm. I haven't even like started measuring the temperature of the water, so I'm just doing I'm like. Gonna measure the temperature. At some point, I want to know like what the temperature is, so that I'm doing it the right way. Mm. Anyway. Cool. That's what I decided nice. I was gonna do yesterday. I was like, you know what? Sure. It's got all the health benefits. I'm gonna do it. Let's go for it. Okay. Yes, you know. much I didn't really do anything yesterday I just went to work took care of some gorillas and then um, did a cold plunge 45 seconds we're getting used to it today honestly was a little bit of a struggle with it because when I was in a rush and the 45 seconds sounded like a really long time when you're not in a rush 45 seconds is really nothing so is a minute one minute if you're not having to be anywhere feels like, you know, goes by pretty fast. But if you have to, like, if you're in a rush and you have to be somewhere, sometimes time just stops and you're like, ah, anyway. Does anyone else feel that way? No, just me. I just got home from dinner with my parents. It is 1130 and I still need to pack for this weekend because I am going to Louisville to see my sister and do some wedding dress shopping. I probably won't film too much of that, just little tidbits here and there. Anyway, we're packing because I have to go straight to the airport afterward. <laughs>